Hey guys, welcome back to my bathroom series. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys 10 ways you can upgrade your bathroom using some things that you might not have thought about. So if you're interested and you wanna see what I'm talking about, keep watching. Welcome, my name is Wayna and I make videos on rental friendly home decor. So if you have a ugly apartment that you want to spruce up and make it your home for the time being then consider subscribing and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when i upload my next video now as mentioned before this is a series so if you didn't get a chance to see my flooring makeover video i will link it in the description box below also in conjunction with this renter friendly bathroom series i want to challenge you guys to spruce up your rental bathrooms so make sure you check the description box below because I'm going to have a really cool spa-like bathroom checklist that you can download for free. So let's jump right into this video. My first tip is to use daylight bulbs in the bathroom, especially if you don't have a window. Look how everything looks so yellow and nasty. Who wants to take a selfie in this type of bathroom? Just by changing out your light bulbs, guys, you can upgrade your space instantly. Refresh your bathtub. My bathtub is off the chain and there seems to be nothing that I can do. I don't know. That's why I just, I don't really like this towel, but you know, what can you do when you rent? You just be grateful for the towel that you have and make it work. Now you see this, this is very, very, very bad mold. And it happens like mm, maybe a few showers in, it's back. So. Instead of me breaking my arm like I usually do, I want to try this product and I want you guys to see if it works with me. But I found this instant mold and mildew stain remover plus it blocks stains and it's supposed to work in just 15 seconds. RMR86 new improved formula might be my new secret weapon because I can't stand cleaning the bathtub. All right, so it's been about a minute or two. I haven't even wiped it off, but the pink stuff is gone. That's crazy. Look, I'm just about to wipe it. Yo, this stuff works. This stuff works. Yo, this stuff works. It's a little pink right here, but it was mad pink. And black, it's gone. All the mold is gone. Come through, Amazon, come through. I gotta hit that spot again, but that's a big difference. Literally, it's been one minute. Now this stuff is kinda strong. Okay, I'm reporting live from the bathroom. This stuff works really good, guys. It's pretty strong though, so you may have to wear a mask. No, I did not have a mask, cause, so I had to put together two bra pads, and I got a these are not underwear guys, this is a, a, a bra, strapless bra. So yeah, I didn't even touch it yet. All I gotta do is wipe it down. That is the GOAT guys. <laughs> this stuff is the GOAT. All right guys, so you know I live in South Florida and the humidity is very high consistently. And I think that's why I see a lot of mold problems. But I finally got down to the real source. You see this here? There is nothing behind it. Whoever installed the tile, they just put a bunch of caulk and they didn't put like this cement behind it. So everything that you see on the left hand side was just basically the sub wall or whatever. And for me to fix that and for the mold to not come back, I needed to remove everything. And then I had to go to Home Depot and pick up some pre-mixed adhesive and grout. I used bright white and what I really like about this stuff is you can use it for two different things. One, the area that you see that's dark, I filled that in so that it was nice and hard once everything was dry. And then I also re-grouted the tiles using this product also. And it also is good for repairs because I don't know if you can see that there's a little crack in the, the tile. I fixed that with this little product also. So you just need a sponge and 
what I'm doing here is just cleaning everything, making sure everything is completely dry because at this point I had cleaned all of the tiles really well, scrubbed them, and I'm just going to basically re-grout with bright white pre-mixed grout and fix the corner as well as put the grout in that area on the left side that was uh, black and then I'm going to caulk all around it and it really has lasted. Cover your countertops with marble contact paper. Okay, so moving on, you guys saw that I applied marble contact paper in the kitchen and what I did was I had leftover contact paper so I just added it to the vanity top in this bathroom. This marble countertop contact paper has been in the bathroom over a year. I applied it at the same time that I applied the kitchen countertops. So yeah, love it in the bathroom as well. I will include a link to that video in the description box below. But if I had to give you guys any suggestions on how to apply this in the bathroom, I used two halves and I just started in the middle and everything worked out. And I also added caulking around the contact paper as well. Vertical space equals storage solutions. So I asked you guys what you had some issues with when it came to the bathroom. And most of you guys said storage. And I know exactly how you feel because I had the same issues. Before I redecorated the living room, I had my bookshelf in the living room and I had this lac shelf in the office closet. But what I did was I removed the lac shelf out of that room because I realized that it fit perfectly next to the toilet and the sink. And then I moved the bookshelf back into the office wardrobe room and it just really made so much sense. And so the number one tip I would give you guys if you're struggling with storage is to use your vertical space. Okay, moving on. I needed to add another mirror in this bathroom. Once I added the shelf and I took care of my storage problems, then I realized that the next issue that I needed to tackle was the fact that one, the bathroom felt small, two, two people use this bathroom and Bay is 6'2", so I can never try to brush my teeth if he's brushing his teeth or whatever. So I just decided to put another mirror. Although we don't have double sinks, just having two mirrors makes the bathroom a lot more functional. So I picked up this mirror from Ikea. It was only like $12.99. And by the way, if you're getting value from this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you've learned something, please share it. Because if you learned it and it helped you out, Trust me, it'll help somebody else out too. Frame your bathroom mirror. When I first moved in, I tried to frame the mirror using the wood technique, but it just really didn't work. So what I used was some 50 cent electrical tape. And guys, this stuff is amazing. It didn't cost much and it makes the biggest impact, I'm telling you. It gave the bathroom a modern look and I applied this sometime in 2019 and it's been going strong. It hasn't fallen down and the bathroom mirror has some imperfections in the corner so it really did help with this little ugly part of the mirror. Cover your cabinets with contact paper. If you guys want to see a very detailed tutorial on how to do so, I will leave a link in the description box as well as you can click on the card above and you'll see exactly how I did everything step by step. This video is also included in this playlist.
Sea como sea, siempre te elijo a ti Todos esos placeres, oh wow ah. Sin ti en mi vida no son nada pa' mí Y somos instantes que duran toda la vida No brillamos sin oscuridad Me cambiaste la verdad Cover or clean your ugly floors If your floors are ugly, simply cover them up here I'm using these tiles that I purchased from Home Depot. If you want to see a full in-depth tutorial on how to make this flooring rental friendly, then click the link in the description box below or click this card above so that you can see how I installed everything. Super easy. Now, if your budget doesn't allow you to go out and purchase new flooring, then you can simply clean your old grout lines just using some good old toilet bowl cleaner. I use the works in my kitchen and guys, it made the biggest difference. And I also wanted to address that a lot of people left comments saying that it was going to ruin the towel and it definitely didn't. I never had to use it more than once. Once I got all of that dirt and debris up, then I just kept the floor looking nice and it never built up again. So. That's a tip for me. Trust me, it works. Hang textured wall art. I had this old shirt that I was about to donate and then I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, this would be amazing as wall art. So in a previous video, I took it apart and I created this DIY macrame type of wall hanging. And if you guys wanna see the full tutorial on that as well, it will be linked in the description box below. Upgrade your towels. Once a year, I like to go out with the old and in with the new, and just refreshing your towels can really bring a new, fresh feel to your bathroom. All right guys, so that's 10 ways to upgrade your bathroom, and I have a lot more. So this is the before footage of the bathroom, and this is the after. What do you think? So I hope this video inspires you guys to create a spa-like bathroom, no matter if you're a homeowner or not. You guys, as long as you have the space and a little bit of imagination, you can change any bathroom, ugly, small, no matter what it looks like, into something beautiful. And you can do it all on a budget. I hope I've showed you guys that. Down below, I'm going to have a lot of resources, links, things like that. And I hope it inspires you to take on this bathroom challenge and just create a space that you love. Because when it's time to create that self-care routine, having a beautiful space to just relax in is so necessary.
So make sure that you subscribe and you hit the bell notification so you don't miss the next upload. And also, if you guys are going to follow along this series, I've created a rental bathroom challenge checklist for you. If you want to get your hands on it, all you have to do is click the link in the description box below. You have even more resources to create a space that you love. All right, guys, don't forget, be you, be beautiful, be chic on a budget, and I'll see you guys on the next upload. Bye, guys.